What's up guys, good morning. It's about 4 a.m. Excited to be here with you, grateful for another day. Hope you guys are having an amazing morning so far. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video. We're gonna be talking about Molen stock. I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of the charts. We're gonna be talking about Bing AI. What is that? What did they say about Molen? And why are they saying to buy Molen stock right now, especially at these low prices? You know, we closed yesterday under 12 cents. It has not been the best week for Molen. It has not been the best month for Molen, let's be honest. So today we're gonna be going over a little bit of this, why I'm excited about what they said. This has a lot to do with chat GPT. So with that, let's get right into it. Don't forget to grab your coffee though, here's mine. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I make Molen content every single day. Let's get right to it. So this article was written by Thomas Neal, okay? They said, while Bing AI thinks Molen stock is a buy, stay away. Of course they said stay away. It's investor place. Most people are saying stay away from Molen stock and they have the right to do that, right? Because they have an advantage right now. Molen is down. So of course bears can write whatever they want about Molen and people will start to believe them. But again, you gotta go back to your belief. What do you think Molen is accomplishing? What do you think Bollinger Motors is accomplishing? And then make the best decision for you. So take, Bing AI's bull case for Molen stock with a grain of salt. When I asked Bing AI about its take on Molen Automotive, I received a surprisingly bullish answer. So we're gonna get deep into this. Bing AI argues that given strengths such as a diverse product pipeline and a strategic partnership, the fledging EV maker still has a shot of becoming a winner. And I also do believe they can become a winner still. As I've said, Molen is building, building, building a solid company. And it takes things like this to build a company, especially an EV car company, okay? So dilution obviously is happening. Shorting has not been fun, but these are things that have been going on and there have been some epic runs and I think an epic run is coming from Molen stock still. Ignoring the EV maker's dilution problem, consider it best to take Bing AI's opinion on Molen with a grain of salt. Okay, so let's look at it. For this article, I asked Bing AI to provide me with an argument in support of buying Molen Automotive shares. This chat bot replied with a six paragraph response, which it titled, Why Molen Stock is a Buy Despite Its Legal Troubles. First, let's learn about Bing AI. On February 7th, Microsoft began a beta launch of a version of its search engine Bing in the form of an AI chat bot powered by GPT-4, the latest iteration of OpenAI's large language model chat GPT. Instead of directing users to external sites, the new Bing can simply generate its own answers to anything. Going back to this article, the writer of this said, below I summarize this response according to Bing AI, despite being under pressure lately due to various legal issues, Molenstock is a buy for these three reasons. First, Molen has a promising product pipeline that includes its flagship SUV, the five that we've covered, a lot, the Dragonfly K50. Second, Molen is also diversified into other segments of the EV market, such as commercial vehicles and battery systems. It's interesting that they brought up battery systems since that hasn't been talked about for months, almost a year, I believe. So that is actually very interesting that they brought up battery systems because that isn't even the talk right now for Molen. What is the talk for Molen is commercial vehicles, especially class one vehicles for Randy Marion and Menzies, which we should get an announcement any day now in the next couple weeks. Third, Molen has secured several strategic partnerships and investments that will help it scale its production and distribution capabilities. Very true. Remember RRDS, that is a company that is tied directly to the government. Mole, they said they chose Molen as their exclusive partner. Okay. so. Molen has been working so hard, so the stock price sucks, and I understand that, and we've been covering the stock price with the charts and everything, and I'll show you the charts in a minute. But, I mean, this is true. What they are saying is true, and these are the reasons why I'm still bullish on Molen, and why a lot of people are still bullish on Molen, especially because the partnerships. Think about IGO, think about Loop Global, think about Bollinger Motors, think about all the things that they have been working on over these last 12 months. So yes, stock price sucks, Molen as a company, has been working though. They have been working hard, in my opinion. Bing AI then concluded that based upon these three factors, Molen was undervalued at its current price, adding that it's a compelling opportunity for long-term investors who are bullish on the EV sector. True again. 
If you're bullish on the EV sector, I think Molin is a great place to be. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You gotta do your own research and do what's best for you, okay? But I think there are they are very interesting because of where they're at, especially with class one vehicles right now. Now looking at the charts, obviously isn't the best, but we have been trading in this wedge that I have been covering. You can see we need to stay above these two blue lines that I drew right here. And where that is getting us to, which I have stated is about 11 cents. So maybe we might drop down to 11 cents. We might even drop down a little lower to maybe like 10 and a half cents. That would be touching this wedge, this bottom part right here. And then I'm hoping from there that we start to turn around. A couple reasons why I think we can turn around. You guys gotta decide if you also agree with this. Right now we are making positive divergence on the RSI. Okay, so we're making higher lows right here. We gotta see if this confirms. Made a new lower low on the stock price. We have huge positive divergence way over there. You can see my white line that I drew. We had a higher price on the stock. We had a lower price on the RSI, and now we're obviously making higher lows right now. Back then in October, uh, the RSI hit a low of about 2082, okay? After it hit this zone, we ran 200% from about 21 cents to 60 cents. Okay, now I'm not saying that's gonna happen for Mullen, but I'm saying it can happen because it's happened before. We've had plenty of 200% runs, 100% runs, 700% runs. It's happened, it can happen again. We just have to be patient, we have to really decide does Mullen still have some juice in it? And I think they do because of the news coming out here in a couple weeks, okay? So again, the RSI is creating positive divergence. The stock price is falling into this wedge that we've been covering. So it's really just a waiting game right now. The stochastic right now is starting to curl up. But again, this doesn't really tell us anything because it's curled up before and we've just crashed down. We really need the RSI to move up from here, confirm positive divergence, and then we need to break this descending trend line right here. So again, today, if we wanted to break this descending trend line, we would have to hit just over 17 cents, it looks like, maybe 18 cents. But we do have strong support around 15 cents right now. That's the next zone, or I'm sorry, resistance. We have strong resistance at 15 cents. So we could move up to 15 cents, we could test that zone and then fall back down. Now, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I shared with the Patreon group yesterday, and it's a deep chart analysis on the four hour and something that you need to see. If you wanna see it before I post on YouTube, check the links out down below. It's $7 a month to join the team. We got about 101 members right now, so I'm grateful for all of you that are on the journey. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for staying.